Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Math with Dr. War. Today's episode is going to be on data analysis and statistics. Um, I'm going to begin a series of videos in that area of task mathematics. And today's video is going to be on the measures of central tendency, which means I will be finding the mean, median, mode, and range. Let's begin. Now, the first thing we're going to find is the mean. Now, when you have to find a mean, it's like if you're finding the average. And when you have to find the average, what we do is we add up all the numbers and then we divide by the number of numbers in the data set. So let's try an example. So here, our first question states that Matthew's test grades are 80, 92, 85, 91, and 88. And we have to find the mean of his grades. Therefore, we're going to add up all of Matthew's grades so that's going to be 80 plus 92 plus 85 plus 91 plus 88. And we're going to divide it by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. There are five numbers in the data set. So to find the mean, we add up all the numbers in the data set and divide by the amount of numbers that we added. So for most of the questions that are mean, you will have to use your calculator because they're going to give you a data set. And unless they give you like a small data set, like single digits, then you will need a calculator. So I think these types of questions will be on the calculator section of the task examination. Little note here, my calculator crashed last week. That's why I haven't really made any videos. And I had to call um, Texas Instrument. They gave me a new program. This is what the new calculator looks like. It's the same calculator. I actually looked at my TI30XS MultiView, my handheld one, and it's the same. It just looks a little bit different. I preferred the old format, but you're going to have to get used to this one because the program crashed on me. So, oh well, at least they gave me a new one. Let's add. So we have 80 and we're going to add 92 and 85, 91, and 88. And enter, I get 436. So that's 436. Then I want to divide by five. All right, I'm just going to hit divide. Now, when I hit divide, you see that answer there. Please note that's the 436. And we're dividing by five. And my answer is 87.2. And that's your answer. Um, a little tip. If they don't tell you to round, don't round. Write your answer. So our answer is 87.2 and that is our mean. So it says to qualify for a donut eating competition, Sally must average eating 15 donuts in 10 minutes. In her practice trial, Sally ate 16, 12, 15, 15, 11, and 13. What is the mean donut Sally eats? And then can she enter the competition? So they want us to find the mean we're going to add our data set. So 16 plus 12 plus 15 plus 15 and 11 and 13. And we're going to divide that six. So we have 16, we're gonna add 12. We're gonna add 15 twice, 11 and then 13. That gives me a value of 82, which I'm going to divide by six. And notice this one is very long. You would have to round here, so they'll tell you to round. So since the question is asking for the mean number of donuts, I'm going to round this. Um, so let's round this to the nearest whole number. So we'll say that's 14. So she can eat 14 donuts. So the question is asking, can she enter the competition? And the answer is no, because in order for her to enter the competition, she must average eating 15 donuts. Right now, she's averaging 14 donuts. So always remember to find the mean, add all your numbers, and divide by how many numbers you've added. Now, median means middle number. And if you have to find a median, the first step is you have to write your numbers in numerical order. So you're going from least to greatest, and then you have to find a middle number. Now, there are two things here that you must know. You can have an odd data set or an even data set. If you have an odd data set, then you can rightfully pick the middle number. But if you have an even data set, you're going to have to add the two middle numbers and divide by two. So I have two examples here. 
So the first one says find the median of the given set of numbers. So the first thing I do when I see the word median, I count my data set to see whether I'm dealing with an odd or even. So I have here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So I have 11 numbers. So this is an odd data set. So this is great for me. I will be able to find a middle number. Now here's a step my students always forget. You must put them in order from smallest to largest. So these are not in order. So the smallest number here is two. And as I write my numbers from smallest to largest, I like to cross them off so that I don't use them again. So, okay, my smallest is two. Then next would be three. Next would be four. And always check to see if you see any numbers that repeat. Okay, I don't see any five, but I see two sixes, let's see, two sevens, I have one eight and a nine, actually there are two of them, and a 10. And then always count to C. So we are supposed to have 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And we want the middle number. So because there are 11, here's a little trick I do. Because there are 11, I take away 1, which gives me 10. I divide that by 2, which gives me 5. Therefore, the number after 5, which will be your sixth number, will be your middle number. And I just count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then the sixth one is your middle number. So your median is 7. Now, if you don't like that, because they're not going to give you a big data set, what you can do is what my students do. They just like to cross off from the ends. So they do this until they get to the middle. Voila, there's your 7. But for me, what I do is... I sub, especially if it's an odd data set, I subtract one, which gives me 10. I half it, I get five. So I know that my sixth digit would be my median. So it says here, what is the median of the data set? I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So I have 12 digits, which means this is an even data set, which means I'm gonna to have to add the two middle numbers and divide by two. So I like this one because it has some negatives. So who will be the smallest? That will be negative five. Next would be negative four, then negative three, and negative two, negative one. Oh, forgot negative two, then negative one, then zero. And do we have a one here? Yes, we do. And do we have a positive two? Yep. And we have a three, four, a six, and a seven. And then I just make a quick count. Yep, there are 12 of them and we want the middle. So again, you can do it what my students do. They start crossing off from the extremes till they get right to the middle. And in the middle is zero and one. So they would add zero and one and then divide by two. So that's one over two. And I know that is a half, which is 0 0.5. So my median is 0 0.5. Or again, because there were 12 numbers, I would go 12 divided by two, which will be six. So my sixth and seventh number, so if I count one, two, three, four, five, six. So my sixth and my seventh number would be in the middle. Um, this is a little trick we do when you have like a really big data set. Okay, mode is kind of easy. To find a mode that is the number that occurs the most, one of the things you have to know about the mode is you can have no mode, you can have one mode, and you can have more than one mode, which means two, three, four, five. However, you can only have one mean and one median. But a mode, you can have none, you can have one, you can have many. So the mode is the number that appears the most or occurs the most. So here I have some numbers. Some students like to write these in order. Um, some students like to just look. It's up to you, but I'm going to put them in order. So our smallest number here is 2. Then we have 3. And I see 4 is here. And we have 6, which is twice. We have 7, which is twice. Okay, we have 1, 8. And 9 appears twice, and then we have 10. Remember, mode is the number that appears the most. Okay, so the 6s is twice, the 7s are twice, and the 9s are twice. 
So my mode is six, seven, and nine. So remember that definition. You can have no mode, you can have one mode, or you can have more than one. This answer had three modes. Okay, here I have to find the mode weight of the textbook in a student's locker. And sometimes on the task test, because your test is timed, they might actually write them in order for you. Notice it's going from 12, 14, 16, 18, 18, 20. So it's order from smallest to largest. So we're looking for the number that appears the most and it's 18. So our mode is 18. The last thing is the range. Now to find a range, it's the difference of the highest and lowest numbers in your data set. So my first example says find a range of the given sets of numbers. Range is a subtraction and you're subtracting the smallest and the largest. Look in our data set, the largest is 10. I'm going to put an L here, so that's 10 minus. And our smallest number is 2. And 10 take away 2 is 8, and that's our range. Suppose we have to find the range of the weight of textbooks in a student's locker. Again, um, our largest is 20. Subtract our smallest is 12, and our answer is 8. All right, let's put it all together. So here's my data set, and I have to find the mean, medium, mode, and range. So the first thing I'm going to do is to find the mean, we have to add this up. So I'm going to put my little plus signs here in between. This is going to make it easier. And I'm going to divide by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So there's six of them. So let's get our calculator. Let's clear our calculator. So 34 and 21, 19, 33, 34, and 27. When you're finding the mean, you don't have to put them in order. That gives me 168. When I divide by 6, my answer is 28. Now to find the median, um, we have to put these in order. The smallest here is 19, followed by 21. Then we have 27, 33, 34 is twice. And we want the median. The median is the middle number. So there are six of them. Six divided by two is three. So I'm looking for the third and the fourth. So if I look here, third and fourth. So we're going to have to take 27, because this is our middle right here, and add it to 33 and divide it by two. Okay, 27 plus 33, and then we divide it by two. Our answer is 30. So remember, if you want to, you can do the crossing off that I was doing and realize that these two are in the middle. The mode is the number that occurs the most, and from our data set, you can see that that's 34. And the range is we're going to take our largest, which is 34, and subtract our smallest, which is 19. I'm lazy today, so long day. 34 take away 19. My answer is 15. Now, one of the things you should note, and I always tell this to my students, especially when they're, they have a multiple choice test, your mean, median, and mode, those three, mean, medium, and mode, your answer should fall between 19 and 34. Notice our mean is 28, which is between 19 and 34. Our median was 30. That is between 19 and 34. Our mode was 34. So your mean, medium, and mode must fall between your smallest and your largest number. And that's how you can tell, or that's how you can eliminate those distractors. And by distractors, I mean those answers that don't make any sense whatsoever. Okay, let's try it again. So I have uh, 245, 202, 254, 245, and 276. And we have to find mean, medium, mode, and range. So again, to find the mean, we're going to add all of these up. And we're going to divide by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So let's see, 245, 202, 254, 245, and 276. That gives me 1,222. And let's divide that by 5. So our answer is 244.4. And that's our mean. We need the median. So let's put these in order from smallest. The smallest is 202. Next would be 245, which occurs twice. Then 254 and 276. Notice our answer for the mean falls between 202 and 276. All right, median is the number that is in the middle. Since this is 5, 5 minus 1 is 4. 4 divided by 2 is 2 
which means the third number has to be our answer. So our median is 245, or do what my students do, cross off at the extremes. The mode is the number that appears the most, and that would be 245. And then our range is the largest number, which is 276, minus our smallest, which is 202. 276, take away 202, that would be 74. So notice that our mean, median, and mode fell between 202 and 276. I hope this has been helpful. This is a foundational video, and before I can actually start getting into the data analysis and statistics, you have to be able to find the mean, the median, the mode, and the range. I hope this video has been helpful. If you like the content, please don't forget to click that little like button. And if you're new, please subscribe if you're trying to get your high school diploma. And if you know someone out there who is also trying to get their high school diploma, please share the link with them. Have a good day.